Hi everyone, this is Gail, and I wanted to show you my June bloom box that just came in the mail. You can see I haven't even opened it yet, but I wanted to share it with you. And I just need to break the seal. There. And show you how they come. It comes in this nice box, and let me tell you, I've started holding on to these boxes because they're very narrow. You can put stuff in here and then put it up on your shelf like a book and they store things and you can be in cardboard. You can just write on the end what they are. They're awesome boxes. I use these to take my um, itty bitty trades to convention. But when you I, I'm working with a new camera setup. And that's the main reason I wanted to do this video is to see how it works. But here's the instruction book. And it's got the pictures of the cards we'll be making here on the front. It says, challenge your creativity with these versatile stamps. I designed these four cards to give you just a small taste of the different color combinations and layout options you can use with your new fun card stamp set. Use it to create paper crafts for any occasion. I'm so excited for you to craft with this set. With each card, I hope you'll learn a new tip along the way. Be sure to watch my video for different variations on this technique. So we're going to learn some techniques. That was the message from Richard. Um, the featured, let's see, color and dimension. It says give your stamped images color and dimension. Create the fun card using three of the stamps with the set by stamping each image twice on your whipped cream cardstock panel provided in your kit. Color one of the images in using a dauber or a fusion ink sponge. Note, you can either stamp first and then color in the square as per the booklet instructions or you can color first and then stamp like Richard demonstrates in the bloom box video. Then use the second stamped image to fussy cut around the middle image, the punch bowl, the camper, the fan, and pop up on your colored background. So that is one of the techniques that he's teaching us in this lesson. And, and then how to do uh, create a fun background with strips of cardstock. So he's using our new daubers. We have small dauber and a large da dauber. It's hard to say. And I do have those. They're here in my drawer. Here's my little... Well, no, that's not the dauber. That's just... And here's the, the big one. And I say big. It's not very big. But compared to the little one, look how little the little one is. You can really get into some little spaces with this. And then you have the sponge tips that go with both of them, and I've got those in here. So we'll be using those. Of course, if you have a sponge or something that you normally use, that would be fine. And uh, here's one. You make my heart skip a beat. And everything in here is going to be included except the sparkles, well, the silks, which I think are silver, silk and cranberry bliss slip silk that's considered a color so that's not included and then you need to add your adhesives but other than that everything looks like well your inks you need black licorice ink and cranberry bliss and that's probably for the beat but again you can use what you have and then over here are the full instructions for that card then there's this card. This is the one using the three, the techniques that he mentioned in the front. But um, let me go to the next one. Cool Beans. That's a cute card. And Thank My Lucky Stars. That's the other one. And I'm just looking on the back. He's just featuring some of the things. But here's the stamp set. And I really like this. You make me a happy camper. You make my heart skip a beat. Thank my lucky stars. Cool beans. 
I'm a big fan and proud as punch. So there's the, the stamps that we get. And then this is, they're not numbered. This is for one card. Here's the Thank My Lucky Stars card, because I can tell because of the stars. But you see the string, uh, that looks like a piece of sparkle tape. All the die cuts are all done for you. And here's a card. This one is embossed. I don't know if you can see the embossing or not, but this one is embossed. And you've got your pattern paper behind that. And then this one has got the checked ribbon and the little sparkle hearts. So you can see it's got you get some fun things. So this is what you get. It's uh, right now if you order in June. You will get this set with these cards, and it's really nice. It's really nice. I like this a lot. You could there's so many different cards you could do with it with this stamp, and it's twenty four ninety five plus tax and shipping, and that so I can't give you a total because it depends on where you live as far as the tax and the shipping. So um, starting next month. Now you can sign up, if you sign up now, you're committed to a six-month uh, subscription for $24.95 a month. And I've shown you some of the other uh, bloom boxes that are going to be coming up in another video. And I don't see my catalog right here, or I would show them to you. But starting with the new mini that comes out in, on August 1st, they are going to be showing you the next three months bloom boxes that are going to be coming up. So that's going to be good. And you can also, starting July 1, if you don't want to sign up for a six-month commitment, uh, you can buy them individually. Each month you can go in and purchase the bloom box, but the price is going to be $29.95. So you're going to have to pay a little bit of a premium for ordering them one at a time. But honestly, I have enjoyed um, getting the Bloom Box subscription and not knowing what they're going to be until just before I get it. About two weeks before you get your Bloom Box, you get a supply list. And it shows you the cards that are on the Bloom Box. And then it tells you what stamp pads you, you know, you're going to need or... Uh, if you need colored pencils, it'll tell you that so that you have an opportunity to order those things and get them before your bloom box gets there. And I did that mainly because it helped me to step out of my comfort zone. The cards I was making had, I mean, they were my style. They were all, um, I didn't do cutesy. I didn't do funny. I just did nice, pretty cards. And this has helped me step out of that comfort zone and use stamp sets that I would never have bought. But by the time I did the bloom box, I found out that I really did like those stamps. So, you know, there, I've enjoyed that. Plus, it's helped me build up my supplies a little at a time. Because every month when I get the supply list, I would order the ink pads that went with it or the silks that went with it. And that way I was able to build up my craft supply uh, without having to break my bank. So I hope you've enjoyed this. I will show you these cards when they're done. And I just wanted to give you a, a look at the June Bloom Box. And if you order anytime before June, by June the 30th, all the way through the end of the month, this is the Bloom Box you'll get. And then on May 1st, you'll be charged for the next Bloom Box, which will be the... Um, July bloom box and I believe I don't want to misspeak but I do believe that the mermaid is a little mermaid is going to be next month but I, it may be the month after that so I don't want to give you any false information but I did just give you a hint there is a mermaid coming so everyone um, get your bloom box I will tell you that uh, anybody that joins my Bloom Box Club, and that is the people that sign up to subscribe, the six-month subscription for $24.95 a month, um, 
anybody that subscribes to the bloom box i will be sending free catalogs when the big catalog comes out i will send you your free big catalog uh, when the mini catalogs come out i will send you a free catalog so join my bloom box club that would be a lot that would be a lot of fun and we can maybe do all these together so hope that uh, inspires you to do something that would help you step out of your comfort zone. So let me get busy on my bloom box, and I will be back soon. Bye-bye.